Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 5 and the name of our chapter is Physical and Chemical Changes of Matter. Today, I am going to give you a complete review of this unit. So, my dear students, let's start with the recap. So, here are the question. What is the dilution of the solution? When a solution becomes weak, the concentration of solute becomes less and the solvent becomes more than the, solu then the solution is said to be diluted. So, how do we dilute a solution? By adding less solute or by adding more solvent. So, now is the time for review. So, my dear students, as you know that we have completed all the student learning outcomes from this unit, from this chapter. So, let's quickly revise all of them. So, in lecture number one, we discussed about what are the physical changes in matter. So, when a uh, matter is changed in size and the shape and a new product is not formed. This is called a physical change. In which ways physical changes occur? They occur in the change in the size or shape and they are temporary and, irrever and reversible. So, in lecture number 2, we discussed about, we made an experiment on melting and solidifying of candle wax. In lecture number 3, we um, discussed about melting and freezing point with respect to water kaise jo hai humne pani ko freeze kiya uske baad humne isko melt kiya humne ye jana ki jab hum kisi cheez ko um, temperature increase karte hain to uske jo particles hain wo energy gain karte hain jiski wajah se they move fast aur is wajah se wo apni state ko change kar lete hain aur jaise hi hum unka temperature kam karte hain to the particles inside uh, the matter they release the energy और उसके बाद उनकी जो मूवमेंट है इट बिकम्स वेरी स्लो एंड दे कम क्लोज टू ईच अदर अगर आप वाटर के टेंपरेचर को 0 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड से कम कर देंगे तो वो इतना कम उसकी पार्टिकल्स की मूवमेंट हो जाएगी दैट दे कम क्लोजर टू ईच अदर एंड दे विल फ्रीज देन इन लेक्चर नंबर 4 वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बॉइलिंग एंड कंडेंसेशन जिसमें हमने ये पढ़ा कि व्हेन वी कीप ऑन हीटिंग फॉर एग्जांपल वाटर सो द पार्टिकल्स गेन सो मच एनर्जी दैट दे एस्केप द वाटर एंड टर्न इनटू गैस and escape into the air. So, this is how they turn into water vapors or gas. Or this is the condensation hai, the changing of gas back to the water when the temperature is very less. So, this is called condensation. And then in lecture number 5, we discussed about factors affecting the solution dissolving of the solute. Yani ke humne solute or solvent ke baare padha, the solid that is added to a, a uh, added in a solution is called a solute. For example, salt in a salty solution and the water is a solvent in which we mix a solute. So, this is how a solution is made. And this is how we learned that we can solubility ko increase kar sakte hai by stirring, by adding temperature or by uh, breaking the solute into smaller pieces. Then in lecture number 6, we discussed, uh, we made an experiment, we did an experiment. Um, and in lecture number 7, we uh, we we discuss we differentiate different uh, differentiated between concentrated and uh, dilute solution, and then in lecture number eight, uh, what are chemical changes and what are physical changes? How they occur? We discussed about that, and then in lecture number nine, uh, we differentiated between physical and chemical changes. So physical changes, jo hai, wo permanent nahi hote. Uh, most of the time, they are not permanent. Or chemical changes, jo hai, they are permanent, and a new product is formed in them. So, lecture number 10, we again uh, did a project, there was project number 1, which we have slime and we have to dilute the solution. So, my dear students, uh, now is the time for practice for which you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video, or you can get it in print from bio teacher. Write down your name, from the description box below this video, or you can get it in print from bio teacher. Write down your name and the roll number. Identify each of the following as physical or chemical change. You leave your bicycle out in the rain and it rusts. Is it a physical or chemical change? A sugar cube dissolves. Is it a physical or chemical change? Scientists break up water into oxygen and hi uh, hydrogen gas. Is it physical or chemical? Burning coal for a barbecue. Trimming a brush because it has grown too tall. And identify and write process responsible for following changes. Liquid turn into solid. So how it will become solid? Write it down. Then solid turns into liquid. Liquid turns into gas, gas turns back to uh, liquid. So, con con se is kender 
प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व है आपने वो लिखना है देर आर टू सोल्यूशन ए एंड बी आइडेंटिफाई विच वन विल बी कंसेंट्रेटेड एंड डायल्यूट आंसर विद रीजन सो सोल्यूशन ए और बी है आपने आइडेंटिफाई करना है दिस इज सोल्यूशन ए एंड दिस इज बी आपने बताना है इसमें से कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड कौन सा है और डायल्यूट कौन सा है टू फिफ्टी एम एल सोल्यूशन विद फोर टेबल स्पून ऑफ शुगर टू फिफ्टी एम एल सोल्यूशन विद एट टेबल स्पून ऑफ शुगर नाउ इन लिस्ट ऑफ फैक्टर्स इफेक्टिंग डिजोल्विंग ऑफ सोल्यूट मटीरियल्स very easy pause the video and quickly complete the worksheet i hope everybody has done it so what you will do is you will submit it to your teacher uh, for the uh, evaluation so now is the time for wrap up so my dear students <clears throat> in this chapter we have learned that temporary changes that do not result into new materials like crushing cans dissolving salt in water is physical change temperature at which metal starts to melt is called melting point temperature at which metal freezes is called freezing point and liquid particles start rapidly to move escape in air when we boil them at a given temperature is called its boiling point then gas can be changed back to liquid by cooling down particles of gas uh, which is called condensation solution in the is the mixture of solute in smaller amount which is dissolved and solvent is the larger amount which does dissolving so dissolving can be enhanced by heating stirring and breaking the solids if a solution having larger amount of solute dissolve into solvent with respect to another solution with similar system is called concentrated solution and we also discussed about reversible and irreversible reactions changes that are irreversible like decaying of vegetables and fruits rusting iron nails and burning of wood are called chemical changes and physical changes are reversible and no new product uh, form but in chemical changes new products form and are irreversible changes my dear students now you all know about how matter can be changed into uh, by physically and by chemically keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz